What's up, party people? I don't know if you're in the house. Uh, I'm not seeing anything on my counter, but um, I want to get started just in case you are there. And I'm just having some Periscope hiccups. So um, I'm just going to start talking as if you are already here. Um, but once you get here, please feel free. Let me know where you're watching from, what the weather is like, what's going on in your life. What's your current nail situation? Are you polished and perfect? Are your nails in the needle of a little TLC? Um, you know, just let me know what's going on on this lovely um, MLK edition of Polished Mondays. Uh, as the title suggests, I wanted to take a moment tonight to show you guys my current look. Here it is my current look tonight and it's not perfect um, but um, this was and I'll tell you a little bit about this look this is actually my first DIY acrylic nail set and uh, I know gel nails are the big rage right now but I wanted to try acrylic nails because I'm always using the full set nails which are great um, but I wanted to try something a little bit different so I'll show you the product that I'm using uh, the product that I'm using tonight or to achieve this look was um, it was the kiss acrylic nail kit um, and it's pretty much like their starter kit and let me show you what's in here Okay, so in this kit, and the kit was, I think, I want to say it was like maybe $15, but, um, and you can get it at, I mean, I've seen it in all the major stores. So Walgreens, CVS, Target, Walmart, um, pretty much pick your poison. But, um, so in this kit, uh, there comes acrylic primer. There is, of course, a lovely nail glue, which you'll need to glue on the tips. They give you a brush, an acrylic, a specially designed acrylic brush. And don't do like I did. This is a little bit of hardened acrylic that I didn't clear off. Uh, and it gives you instructions on how to keep this brush clean. But uh, let's see what else is in here. And these are these nail guides that I'm not advanced enough to understand exactly how these work. Uh, supposedly they're supposed to help you uh, figure out how long you want your nails uh, and that'll make sense in a minute because the tips that come included are super duper long. They're like Coco from SWV long, like super duper duper long. So unless you want them that long, that's great. But um, most likely you'll want to cut them to a desired length. So these, I believe, are supposed to help you get all your nails to a consistent length. So and you can see I didn't use those because I really was just anxious about getting my foot in here and well actually my hand in here and just really playing around um, it also comes with acrylic liquid so you can see the whole box here and then it comes with something that's really interesting it is called um, acrylic let's see if it'll focus see if the camera will focus it's called acrylic masking liquid and pretty much all this is designed to do is just help the strong smell of acrylic to smell a bit nicer so nothing's really gonna take away the fact that acrylic has a strong smell this is just designed to make it more pleasant and then something that they call a dapping dish or a dampening dish or a dampening dish uh, and right now the camera's not focused but all it looks like is like a little plastic lid from like a shampoo bottle or something but it's just a little plastic um, dish for you to put your liquid acrylic in just like they do at the nail salons how they always take the brush and they dip it in the liquid and they dip it in the powder I always thought that was water um, it never occurred to me that it, that was the liquid acrylic uh, and then also it comes with the acrylic powder in clear so this because it was my first go around I'm okay with clear but I'd love to try like some of the nude colored, uh, the pinkish tones, and see different effects that'll come with that. So that's the kit. And also, I didn't show you, but it also comes with like a nail file 
and a buffing block. So those are somewhere else in my nail kit, but it does come with that. So it really comes with all the accoutrements of creating your look. And then, let's see if I can open this with one hand. Okay, so. Okay, so underneath um, this little kit, underneath what's cool is these are all your nail tips. So if you buy the kit, you don't have to buy separate nail tips. It'll all come included in the kit. And of course, it's just like any full set of uh, full set nails where you'll just go through and uh, pick the number that, you know, fits your uh, nail shape the best. And it comes with what you're seeing is the clear, um, the clear nail tips and then these French white tips. So I haven't played around with those yet, but I will. And... But now you can see what I mean. They're going to be super duper long. So um, unless that's the look you're going for, that's fine. But uh, you'll probably want to cut them down into a length and a shape that's going to work for you. So, um, so far I really liked it. Let me show you the nails again. Um, I liked it. I thought that I was going to have a lot more trouble with it. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. I thought it w I was going to have a lot more trouble... I thought I was going to have a lot more trouble getting the set to be, um, not to be bumpy. And for the most part, like, it's almost foolproof, um, because, I don't know why the camera's not focusing. Let me just hold it still for a while. There we go. Um, it's almost foolproof. I thought it was going to come out pretty bumpy. You can see on the black nail here. The texture and I thought oh I'm gonna have to do a lot of filing uh, and I did do a lot of filing just because it was my first time I'm gonna hold still so the lens can focus uh, I thought that I was gonna yeah I thought that I was gonna have to do a lot of buffing and filing and I did only because it was my first time but really that was just because I was kind of going crazy so I mean it is a cool way to um, to add a nice acrylic top coat at home little pinky nail, eh, I'm not too happy because I did this design and I painted on my, um, my matte top coat before my little dots were dry. So let me show the whole look. So on my thumbs, I wanted to do just a nice flat nail look. I usually like to do studs, but I just, um, because wash day for my hair is right around the corner, I did not want to play around with studs uh, snagging on my hair. So I decided to go with a nice um, flat uh, look, meaning nothing to really snag. So let's talk about the look, because I know you might want to shop my look tonight. So, so starting off, and I must not have good lighting conditions tonight, because my lens really does not want to focus. There we go. So what I used on my um, on so on my nails is I did a color blocking effect, and I used one of my favorites, Deborah Lippman, one of my favorite brands, and the color is Build Me Up Buttercup, Build Me Up Buttercup, and it's just a nice uh, buttery, like the name suggests, just buttery yellow, uh, no uh, shimmer, no metallic. None of that, just a nice flat cream color. And uh, I use that for some of the nails plus the little accent dots, which I'll tell you more about in a minute. The other color I used on the alternating nails is one of my other favorite brands, Wet and Wild. And this is from their Wild Shine nail, uh, nail Collection. And the name of this color is Black... Black cream. Ooh, for a minute I thought it said black crime. I was about to write a very angry letter. Um, <laughs> black cream. And just like the uh, Deborah Lippmann, it is just a nice creamy, um, I don't want to say flat, but just a nice cream, um, shiny coat of uh, opaque black nail color. So that's the other one I used. And 
The third color I used, uh, once again, by Wet n Wild from their Mega Last collection, which I'm a big fan of because I really like the brush and I like that the polish goes on with no streaks and no clumps. Uh, so I'm a big fan of it. But this color is called I Need a Refresh Mint. And as you can see, that color is used just in the accents. So I did some nails yellow, some nails black, and then on each one they have an alternating pattern of dots, which I used a handy little dotting tool. I have a great um I have a great tool kit, which I didn't use for this. Um and I grabbed this just because it was laying around and it was handy. But I really suggest that you, if you really want to do nail art and you really want to have fun, go get you a dotting tool. A dotting tool, I know that there's lots of hacks out there that say you can use a bobby pin or a toothpick or, you know, whatever it is. I just never have that much luck with them. So I'm really glad to have gotten a dotting tool in my life uh, so that I can make... Um, different sizes of dots, consistent shapes, and most dotting tools, one end is going to be a larger a larger circumference dot, a little ball on the end, and the other one's going to be a little bit a little bit bigger. But you can find these a lot of places. They're getting really popular. So def definitely recommend that. So that's what I use to get those lovely alternating dots. Now you're probably wondering about this pattern and no I cannot claim to have done that pattern myself. That is courtesy of It's a nail, nail decals. And you've seen me use these a bunch of other times. And what they are is they're just already polished nail designs that you put on. Um this one is called Gosh, I wish I could focus tonight. This one is called Play Along. And maybe I'm moving too much. Let's, let me stay still. But this one, this pattern is called Play Along. And here is what it looks like. You can see I've wrapped it up in foil. And the reason that I did that is because these things dry out fast. On one of my periscopes, I wanted to do a nail design for you guys. And I just could not get this thing to work. It was stiff. It wasn't adhering. I couldn't get the plastic to peel off the back. And then I found out after the fact that it was because I had already opened the package. And they'd been sitting out and they pretty much dried up and hardened. Uh, so I definitely would recommend that if you can, that you use the whole pack in one sitting. This has enough for um, 10 fingers. So this is definitely a manicure in a package, uh, although they come in packs with, for just accent nails. So if you're only going to use like a full pack for accent nails and you want to save the rest, I definitely recommend that you either get a Ziploc bag, some saran wrap. In this case, I could not find my Ziploc bag, so I just grabbed tin foil, folded it over, folded the opening over, and... Um, you know, sealed it up with tin foil the best I can. We'll see in the coming weeks if these hold up um, and I am able to use them again, but I definitely recommend it. Now you can buy these in smaller packs. So, oh, and it comes with a cute little nail file and instructions on the back tell you how to put them on, but it's pretty simple. You're just peeling them off. They come off like a little vinyl sheet and then you're, um, you're just lining it up with your cuticle and once you line it up with your cuticle, you're just pulling it to the sides, pulling it over the tip of your nail, and then filing off the excess. That's pretty much it. So, um, and then the piece de resistance, uh, the top coat, and I am Blur City tonight. So I'm just going to back up a little bit here and wait for the camera to focus. So the other thing that I did, um, the finishing touch I added was... This Deborah Lipman top coat and it's a matte top coat and at first I didn't know what to think of it uh, I thought maybe I did not like it but now what I'm realizing is it's not a matte coat in the sense of like that frosty you know completely matte chalkboard look if that's the look you're looking for with a matte uh, top coat this is not gonna give it to you but it will give you like that soft 
satin finish. It's more of a satin finish top coat. So this polish was way shinier when I put it on. In fact, it looked more like patent leather, kind of like the way the bottle does. Um, but once I put this Deborah Lippmann top coat on, it really um, subdued it. As you can see there. And this is great because you can also see the texture um, that the acrylic gave off. So I followed the directions on the acrylic nails. Um, I did a lot of filing and buffing just because I was really concerned about getting it right. But it actually was pretty easy. I probably didn't need to do as much um, filing and buffing as I did. And um, so that's my look for this week. Um, anyway, I am going to head on out of here. But thanks so much for watching. And be sure to come back next week um, for the next Polish Mondays live installment right here on Periscope. But in the meanwhile, stop by my YouTube page. It is uh, youtube.com. Uh, my user, my channel actually is Nikki, N I K K I, Miners. But if you look me up as Double Click Life, you can also find me. Um, just be sure to subscribe and. Um, leave me a comment. Anyway, I'm so glad that you stopped by and I hope you have a wonderful evening and thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.